Come, let's cook. Hamish at home. Here we are for another episode of High Mission Home. Let me show you how to prepare a delicious, dairy fish meal that will take no time and you'll be able to label it as a gourmet fish dinner. Let's start. First thing I'll do is get my sauce going because I want to reduce the sauce a little bit. Let's get the heat up. A little bit of shallots. Now I'm gonna add some white wine. So here I am trying to make this easy schmeasy dinner video. We're shooting on a Friday afternoon. We do three episodes in one day. I'm up to episode three. Things are going smoothly and as I'm dicing up the shallots, my mind blanks out. I don't know what to do next. So I start cleaning my knife. Ow, check out myself. Ah. I run to the sink, I wash it off. Out of nowhere, my wife just has a box of Band-Aids. I don't even know why she thought about it. And I'm Band-Aid up and we continue. How did you know to get Band-Aids over here, AZ? Let's wash the knife. That's why I charge, that's why I charge a lot of money. So, it's all good. We're continuing, everything is working perfectly. So I got some gorgeous halibut. I remember growing up, the only white type of fish we used to have in the house was probably, I think it was flounder. And my older brother, he used to call it Michigan a fish. He always used to say, my mother used to make fish for supper, and then he used to go, like, oh, schön Water machst du Michigan a fish? I'm gonna squeeze a little lemon on top. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. And some olive oil. How does this work? So cool. Okay. I'm gonna put some lemon all over the place. A little black pepper. This is coming to a boil right here, my wine slash shallots. I want it to reduce a little bit, then I'm gonna add my butter to it. I didn't realize that I'm bleeding through. And every time I wipe my hands in the towel, we see a little stain, another stain, and another stain. And one of the videographers goes, hey. Hey, your towel it has a lot of blood on it. Oh, okay. Shoots. See the little hot? I missed it. What? I mean, it only started getting bigger. Like... Yes, it's all over the place. Being that I am a Tala volunteer in Lakewood for 13 years now, I said, you know what? Let me have some chutzpah. Let me ask for some help because I really need some help. Any units next to Fishley Boulevard? Two, just out of nine. perfect. I'm too old for this stuff. My good friend, Mr. Zahavel, shows up and he bandages me up. Now I think he bandaged me up a little extra just because he wanted to get back on me. So he gave me, he bandaged two of my fingers. He made it, he made it look real. If you live in an area where there is a Hever Hatzala, make sure you give your yearly donation because you never know when your local food show host is gonna cut himself in the middle of making a video. It's not a joke. It's not a joke. The guy's the home guy, and the other guy's the guy's the guy's the guy's the guy's the guy's the I'm bandaged up. I finish my video. I finally get home an hour before Shabbos, and I call our good friend, Dr. Tarlo, which is on the board of Atala as well. And I say, Dr. Tarlo, I think I need some stitches. Dr. Tarlo is just a tzaddik, and he gave away his private time on a Friday afternoon to stitch me up and 10 minutes before Shabbos, I got home. And now I gotta finish my thing like this. Okay, so my sauce is reducing beautifully. It's almost down to half. Now it's time to add my butter. I wanna cut up my butter. I want it to be room temperature and I'm slowly gonna add it to my sauce. Wow, look at the sauce. I see the shallots in there. I'm gonna leave the shallots in. Doesn't bother me if it's gonna be on top of my fish. So it'll melt it down beautifully. I just want to add a little bit of salt and pepper. Right in. And some dill. So I have these beautiful begun 
frozen dill cubes. Some mechaia to work with. Let me get my cheesy potato puffs into the oven. Just a couple of minutes. I'm gonna microwave my string beans. We'll have a gorgeous dinner ready in no time, just like that. Prepare this gorgeous gourmet fish dinner dish. So easy. All I did was prepare a delicious dairy butter sauce. I got these beautiful began potato puffs. All I did is put it in the oven with a little cheese on it. I used the began microwavable stream beans. I got my halibut wood in there, did nothing but put a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, and some lemon. Let's get a nice piece. I don't know which piece should I take. I'm gonna take this piece right. Actually, I'll take two pieces. That one broke. It's a little bit of a challenge. I don't have another, I'm a little bit handicapped. <laughs> See what I'm talking about? Let's get another nice piece right there. Let's put a little bit of the lemon. Get it cooked with right next to it. We take a little bit of the steamed string beans. So simple. Gorgeous color. Looks beautiful. Tastes delicious. Has a little crisp to it. Did nothing but put it in the microwave for a couple minutes. I followed the instructions. Then I'm going to use my tater tots. And now for the star of the show, here comes my buttery wine sauce with some diced shallots. Look how gorgeous that is. I'll tell you a little secret. It'll go great on any fish. Always want to garnish it with a little bit of dill. Dill goes great with fish. And you got yourself a gorgeous, gorgeous dinner that took no time to prepare. And you can call this gourmet in every form. Now I gotta taste it. Let's taste the fish first, I think. Because that fish with the sauce. better than I thought. When it comes to dinners, I'm not a big middle figure fan. I'm more like that, that hot dog french fry type of guy. This dinner dish, this is a winner. I use this beautiful rosé in my wine butter sauce. Of course, I'll make a lachaim. Cheers, mate.